What's up guys, how's it going? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this lovely section right here. It's a before and after scrolling slider and as you can see here you get images on the left slide and with this little divider you get the better version on the right side. Everything in this section is fully customizable and I'm going to show you in a couple steps how you can integrate this section in your very own Shopify store. The first thing I did for that was headed on over to the Shopify App Store uh, where I got the Section Store app completely for free and then I headed back to my Shopify admin area of this store and opened up the Section Store app in the left bottom corner underneath apps right here. The next thing you have to do to actually get the section yourself is click on Explore Sections where you can find over 150 fully customizable components which are coming either completely free or with a little charge of $9 for our premium sections. And now we're going to have a look at this slider right here. I type in slider. Sorry for that. Still scrolling. And there we have it. That's the scrolling before and after images. The one you saw in the beginning of the video. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free, but this section comes with a little fee of $9. It means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. No reoccurring subscription fees. You're not going to need a developer or any sorts of thing. So at the end of the day, you're going to save yourself a lot of money and time. And I think $9 is not too much if it comes to upping the design and quality of your online store. So yeah, if we successfully got the sectioner, we can head back to the home area of the app where we had to, where we have to add the section to the theme we're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. Let's just click on here and it's getting installed and then simply just open it up in the theme editor, which I've done so already. It's the one we are talking about. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can add new blocks to the sectioner. So if you're not familiar with our app to add new sections, you have to scroll all the way down and then simply just type in the section you got for yourself. And that will start scrolling before and after the slider. And easy as that, it's already getting installed. But we're just going to continue with the one you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm going to show you all the things you can do with it. Let's just say we get straight into it. All right, to add another card, we can just simply click on here on Add Card. Then we click on the card itself. And there you can decide which image is supposed to be displayed on the left. So let's just select one. So we're going to do a crashed car. And let's say you're a super nice mechanic service and you want to open up a new business where you provide good products to your customers and there you can display the image on the right side which we're going to put in right here you can pretty much use this actually for everything it's just a little example and then you can even paste in a link so we're just going to leave this one empty for now but you can pretty much put in everything collection product whatever you prefer even a link to a different page but yeah let's just give that a little save and then i'm going to show you how you can do customizations to the whole block itself so if you click on the thing right here, you can change the headline. It's also updating live. So you can always see what you're doing and change it up straight away again. You can change the font, the size of the heading. You can change the gaps between the items. Let's just do that real quick to give you a little overview of how it's looking to give it a bit more space. But I think it does look quite nice if it's a bit closer together. And then you can do the same on mobile, the line width which is that one right here. You can change the line radius, the border thickness of the whole thing. Maybe we want it a little bit smaller. That's looking good. The image height is changeable as well. Also the aspect ratio and the animation speed. So if you want it like really slow, we could do it like that. But I do feel like it's nicer to have it a little bit faster to not waste the time of your customers. And that is the last section where we can customize the color of our heading, for example, right here. Maybe we want it in orange let's just pick that one that is something we could do but i do think blue looks quite nice to create a nice contrast on it then also the image border color is something we could change we didn't select the border so it's not showing up the line background the line border color so we could also do a slight yellow on that so it's not going to be orange maybe we do something which is a bit more visible maybe also blue yeah that is looking nice then the section background is changeable and you can either decide a whole color or a gradient. I decided a gradient in this case. We can also change this gradient as you can see here. So if we want to do some tweakings, we can click on one color and make this 
even more green. So let's let it update. Yeah, there you could see it. Now we're going to give it a little save up and pretty much bringing this video to an end already. I hope I summarized everything. Here you can also do lazy load, full width of the sectioner and some more padding options which are pretty useful depending on how much space you want to give the section itself. Let's load that up and see if our changes got applied to the whole thing. Scroll all the way down again and here we can see our new headline, the new gradient and the new customizations we did to the line as well. Here you can see the lazy load as well to save up some time and that section is looking good to me and I hope you guys found that useful and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow if you have your own suggestions on what sections you would like to see in the future always feel free to leave them in the comment section and with that being said have a good one guys and peace out